So what exactly is a hash function? Well, if we take a look at the definition from the NIST, which is the National Institute of Standards and Technology, so it's a US government organization, they say a hash function is a function on bit strings in which the length of the output is fixed. The output often serves as a condensed representation of the input. Okay, well, that's a pretty good and concise definition, but let's maybe make this a bit more clear. So the important thing to understand is that everything that is digital that you have on your computer, um, a text, uh, an ebook, um, an audio file, a video, like anything, is at the very core a sequence of bits. So that's what they call the bit string. So of course, like a video file is very different from like from a text, but that is just like an encoding issue. Yeah, at the very bottom, they are similar in the sense that they are all some sequence of bits. And what this hash function is doing is, it is taking an arbitrary input, like a sequence of bits, and then it's gonna do like its computation and it's going to spit out a value of fixed length. And this is what we often call the digest or some sometimes people also just call it the hash yeah so people say yeah the hash of this file is whatever and to make this a bit more concrete maybe let's think of the hash hash like a fingerprint so similar how a fingerprint is a condensed version or condensed representation of a human a digest is a condensed version or representation of something digital of a sequence of bits and it always has like a fixed length so let's maybe make a more concrete example of a simple hash function let's say we have this hash function hash function is some number mod 3 so mod here is the modulo operation which basically says okay we do a division like an integer division and then we take the remainder if you're not familiar with like what modulo is maybe take a look at the wikipedia page to understand it a bit better, but I just want to illustrate the principle of a hash function. Yeah, so essentially we are asking us, ourselves, how often does three fit into the particular number that we put in? Yeah, so the classical integer division, and then we subtract that value and then we take the remainder. So let's make an example. Let's say we put in zero. Then we ask ourselves, okay, how many times does a uh, three fit into zero well zero times okay zero times three is zero so what's the remainder here okay zero let's do the same for one and two um how many times does one and two fit into zero well zero times okay and what is the remainder well one and two in that case and now it gets a bit more interesting with three so we can ask ourselves okay how often does three fit into three well one time right one times three is three so that's why we take the original number three and uh, subtract it with three so then we end up at zero and the remainder is zero and the same thing or like we go on with the same principle with four how many times does three fit into four well one time right then we are at three and four minus three is one so that's why the result here is one and you can already see this thing is going to repeat itself indefinitely. Also, it doesn't matter like how big the number is we put in. We could we can put in a in, in huge number in. At the end of the day, we're always going to get a value between uh, 0 and 2. So this whole thing has three values. Like the result of this function is always either 0, 1 or 2. And that is exactly according to this definition because it says well the length of the output is fixed right because you can represent three numbers uh, with two bits and that's why the output or the length of the output here would be two bits now obviously this is not a very good hash function because the thing with hash function is ideally you don't want to have any collisions but this one obviously has a lot of collision but it just makes like a nice example so obviously the hash functions that are used in practice they're like way more advanced and they are optimized for having no collisions or like minimizing the chance of having any collisions and as soon as somebody finds a collision or as soon as somebody figures out that uh, this particular hash function is not really good it is typically replaced with a better one and uh, popular hash functions are for example uh, the SHA family so SHA stands for secure hash algorithm so that is a standard that is published by the NIST so again like where we have the definition from 
the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And the number here indicates the amount of bits, like the length of the output. Yeah, so SHA-256, which is a very popular hash function, um, spits out 256 bit. Yeah, so the fingerprint that you get out here has 256 bits. And SHA-512 would then have 512 bits as output, and so on. And that's like different types of hash functions. There's already the SHA-3 family, which is the... Yeah, most modern form, I would say. So SHA-2 family hash function members are the most popular in use right now. Yeah, and then we also have other functions. So for example, MD5. So maybe you have seen if you download something, oh yeah, there's an MD5 fingerprint. Yeah, so this is like for what MD5 is used. But these days, not really anymore because it is no longer recommended to use that because uh, yeah, the algorithm itself just has its weaknesses and this is sort of phasing out. Yeah, so this is like what hash functions are. Hash functions play a crucial role in computer science, especially when it comes to building data structures and algorithms, because they make for very fast lookups. So you can build something like hash tables and hash sets um, with them. And they are really important in, in yeah, applications where uh, performance is key. Yeah, I think it's just important to understand the basics, what it is. It just takes something, a bit string, and it puts out, it spits out an output with a fixed length. And ideally this thing has like no collisions or the goal is to minimize the probability that there is like a collision. That's it pretty much about uh, hash functions. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.